This is Jim Williams with the Hurricane City Tropical Update for August 15th, 3 p.m. As usual, we'll start out with the water vapor loop of the Atlantic Basin. And the only area of concern right now is former TD number 5 in southwestern Georgia moving towards the Florida Panhandle. It should be out over the water tomorrow. And we'll see if we have a new tropical storm forming out there, which would be Danielle. Uh, I'll get to the details on that in just a minute. Many global models are now indicating we're going to see a hurricane forming out here in the Atlantic. This week coming up, and by the weekend, we should have a strong system uh, heading generally west-northwest, tending towards north of the Leeward Islands. A little too soon to call that, but the indi early indications are this is going to be north of the Leeward Islands. Again, too soon to indicate if we're going to have any recurvature with this system, but this is the week, the third week and fourth week of August, where we start seeing these Cape Verde systems come across and develop and be threats to the United States. So let's get to the visible shot of former TD number 5. And you can see the system is rotating right here, and it's right near the Alabama, Georgia, Florida Panhandle area, uh, intersection area here, and heading due south. And this should be out over the water tomorrow, where it'll take a little while to get organized. N normally, when you see systems come from land and shoot out into the water, it takes them a little while to get reorganized because there's a big temperature differential between land and water usually, and there's... There's other environmental variables that go into these systems not developing quickly once they get off the coast. You see this a lot with African storms. They're really intense over land. They hit the water and they collapse and it takes them a day or two to recover. So it wouldn't surprise me if this takes a little while to get organized once it gets back into the Gulf and then heads generally west. Most models indicate it's going to head into Louisiana as a tropical storm. Uh, GFDL keeps it over, land, over water a very short period of time and into Mississippi. The Canadian, a little bit longer, takes it over towards western Louisiana and Texas, and it could conceivably get up to Category 1 if the, if the Canadian model bears out. But things should be pretty favorable in the Gulf for this to go ahead and develop, but it's not going to have a whole lot of time over water, so most models are indicating tropical storm status. So we'll watch it. Our current feature remains Grand Isle, Louisiana, right here. Southeast Louisiana, we'll leave that up unless there's a significant change in forecast track. And again, this should be reclassified probably tomorrow night uh, going into the middle of the week, and that would be when it makes landfall as potentially Tropical Storm Danielle. All right, let's take a look out in the East Atlantic. And we have a system here coming off the coast of Africa, and the models again are indicating we're going to see development out of this. Right here, there's our area of low pressure cruising off to the west. And most models indicate when it gets in this position over here, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday-ish, we should see a storm forming out here, and then it should start rapidly developing as it heads off to the west-northwest. Now, there is some dry African dust up in here, which is a negative influence on these systems, but it's that time of the year, and even with the African dust, these systems do tend to survive as they head across and develop a little bit later down the road. So if we look at the panned out water vapor loop once again, let's talk about what some of the models are indicating. The European model, which is a very good model, uh, is showing about 7 to 10 days. This thing will be heading west-northwest, but doesn't really show much in the form of a recurvature out here. So this is something we'll have to watch going into the final week of August. This could be a threat to the United States or Bermuda. We just don't know yet. It's too far out. Uh, the GFS, pretty similar track, uh, maybe a little bit further south here. Maybe in this position is showing a pretty significant hurricane heading west-northwest, as well as the Canadian. And the no-gaps is a little slower, keeping a system a little bit further back. But nevertheless, middle of the week, we should see a hurricane developing out here, uh, at least at the very least, a tropical storm. And the system should be heading just north of due west in its typical track across the Atlantic, setting the stage for the final week of August, and we'll have to see how that all plays out. Now, my work schedule is going to be changing this week coming up. The updates will be done in the evenings once again, and uh, that's due to a busy work schedule. So the evening updates, I'll be updating uh, TD number 5 and possibly a new invest in the East Atlantic. That's it for now. Thank you again for visiting Hurricane City.